Welcome to Watercolor by Scarlett Damon. That's me, of course. Today I am painting a garlic bulb. I really like painting garlic bulbs. I think that they are um, beautiful. I really like the paper-like uh, coating and consistency of the outer skin of the bulb when it comes to garlic or, um, or any of the allium family, so any onions. Um, I love the colors. They go from the whites to the pinks to a little brown or gray tones all the way to the deep reds. And it's just, it's so simple. I enjoy the simplicity of such a subject. So I took the time to sketch it out to, and I did a really good detailed sketch. This is the type of painting where I want the sketch to really shine through. This is not the thing where I'm going to come along later and erase the line. So the sketch was very much on purpose. One, as a guide so I know what I'm doing, but two, to help me make the picture really pop, to give it more form. So something you will see as I'm painting is that I'm always painting in the direction of form. I'm always painting with a little bit of a curve uh, in my brush stroke. And the reason why I'm doing that is if you paint up and down, which is kind of um, the way we would naturally do it, like we're painting the wall, we just paint right to left or left to right or up, to the, up and down, um, we end up with a very flat surface. But if we take the time to paint with the contour in the direction of form, you actually end up with something that feels like you can pick it up. It feels more realistic. Now tone, uh, the differences in the lights and darks and the more tonal range, the more darks you have and the more lights you have are going to make the painting pop. And I have a watercolor tutorial on how to make your, paint, how to make your watercolor painting pop where I talk about exactly that, pushing those two ranges and bringing them pretty close so that the darks and the lights are right next to each other and really pushing it out. In this particular tutorial, I am not looking to make it pop in that way. I'm going with the very elegant uh, subtleties of the garlic bulb, and I'm trying to stick with that. So you'll see at the end there's a little bit of detail that goes on, but um, overall this is just an incredibly delicate and I think really beautiful uh, subject to paint. Now, if you're interested, if you're still, if you're still here, if I've caught your attention, um, and you're interested in knowing more about uh, the brushes I use, the paper I used, how I rip the paper down to the right size, because I start with really large sheets, uh, huge sheets actually on a roll. Um, if you're interested in knowing more about my reference photos or different ideas of what I what I do behind the scenes, um, there is a Patreon blog. And I know I mention this often, but it's definitely worth mentioning. Um, a few of you have come by and hung out with me on Patreon, and I have a really interesting relationship with my Patreons. I feel like um, like we're all kind of friends. Like we're we, we know each other better because I I talk to you guys. I actually have real conversations. When you guys give me comments, they come right to my phone, I see them immediately and I comment back and it just warms my heart. I think it's really exciting. I really enjoy that kind of relationship. Um, whereas on YouTube, it doesn't work like that, obviously. There's just, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who will watch these videos, if not thousands, in some cases even millions um, of people who will watch the videos. And so it's not the same, there's not as many comments. And the, I might get one comment, on one video and another comment on another video, but I may not even connect in my head that those two, two comments come from the same person because they came weeks um, apart from each other. Whereas on Patreon, if you make a comment on Patreon, I'm going to notice and I'm going to pay attention and I'm probably going to ask you a lot of questions because it's not just a comment thing, it's like it's a two-way conversation um, and I'm going to pay attention and so I, it, it totally changes it. And, I just, I'm very excited about it. I think it's fantastic. I've been working out really hard. You guys have probably seen a lot of my my Patreon teaser posts that I've been putting in the community section of my YouTube. And if you have and you're excited about any of that, please come check me out on Patreon. Just just come on by, just ch click on the link, see what's going on. You don't have to sign up. You can definitely visit my Patreon without signing up. And if you want all the behind the scenes things, then by all means do uh, sign up and join me. and start that um, uh, that interesting journey of learning more and having a more in-depth uh, training and experience because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to try to help you guys in every way I can to become better artists, to explore 
your talents to uh, get rid of your your uh, frustrations and all those things and just let it go. Just let the art be and let it go. So that's the thing about Patreon and the only reason why I'm mentioning it right now is because this particular uh, painting has a post on Patreon, which is like most of my paintings have posts on Patreon. And if they don't, it's because I haven't gotten around to it because I have over 100 videos. Well, no, I have over 100 videos and over 100 posts, but they're not all the same thing. So um, yeah, I haven't gotten around to doing posts for every single video yet. So what you've just watched me do is my underlayer, right? The undercoat. Um, at this point, I've pretty much covered the entire thing, the undercoat. And I'm going to mix a new set of colors to do something darker. So this is cerulean blue and pink. And the exact number of the pink would be on my blog post. Um, because I don't have it with me right now. I'm mixing these two together to get a beautiful purple. The piece, I think, looks really, really beautiful the way it is. But it needs something else. It needs, like, like pearls. Little dots. Um... Let's see, like water drops running off it. I don't know, something something delicate that would make it, you know, like it's decorated. So what I chose to do was make very delicate, teeny tiny little lines. And I should probably um, cut this part in a little bit so you can see even tighter. Um, but I made very delicate little lines. And then I even dotted or uh, pixelated. No, not pixelated. There's just one for that. Uh, stipple. I dotted or stippled the line. So it's a line with a bunch of stipples and a line with a bunch of stipples. The top, of course, there's a lot of detail up there, so I want to capture that too. And again, this is just lines. If you really look at what I'm doing, I'm going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. There's no major wash and no single color wash in the beginning. I am doing a little bit of wet and wet in that once I put a single color where I want it to be and I've left all these little white spaces by drawing the lines, not doing a complete wash, then I come back with another color and I pull the second color into the first color, making a wet on wet a very small space, a small spot of wet on wet, but um, but not the whole thing. So it's you could almost do this with pencil crayon or with a marker, of course you get a completely different effect, but it's it's like I'm drawing the painting on more than painting it with tons of water. I hope that makes sense. So here again I'm adding a little more cerulean blue, cleaning off my brush and then drying my brush a little bit. And now I want to pull my brush through the paint and just lift up a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple at the same time. And make sure I always want to roll that the brush within my fingers. I roll it while I'm working. I'm constantly rolling the brush. You guys have probably seen this. And that is because when you roll your brush, you uh, bring it back to a point. So I'm always getting a better point. I'm not uh, using it up and getting a bend in the end in the tip of my brush. So now again, I'm picking up some pink. And I'm going to do a purple. And go back to it. And if you can see the sheen, can you see the sheen in there? That part is wet on wet. So some of these lines are going to blend a little bit in and out. And I'm adding water whenever I bring my hand up all the way past the top right of the screen. I'm grabbing a little bit of water and either cleaning the brush or grabbing a little water in order to bring it back down so I can blur some of those lines. So then I've changed the brush to a small. This is a tiny brush, I believe it's a four zeros, not a zero, 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 zero. And which is the smallest um, Maestro da Vinci um, Series 35 watercolor brush I can get. These are, um, these are Kalinsky Sable brushes, of course, it's all I paint with when I'm doing work that is very important. I do have other brushes that are crummy that I just kind of work on when I'm doing practice stuff. But when I'm doing something for real, I always use the Kalinsky Sable brushes. Um, they're my favorites, they're beautiful. They, they kind of glide across the paper and it's interesting, I feel like there's no resistance when I'm working with that. If I pick up a synthetic brush, and I really need to try some new synthetic brushes because I've heard some amazing things about the, thing, the brushes that are coming out. Um, uh, you know, just more and more recently there's been, apparently, because I haven't tried them, but like brushes that are supposedly very, very much like the real thing. 
So this is really turning into a lot of talking. I'm impressed that I can talk for 12 and a half minutes straight without really thinking about what I'm saying. <laughs> and the whole time about a uh, painting. Um, we're getting to the end. These are the final details. This is where I am slowing down, way down, and taking the time to paint in those tiny little purple lines. Now, I did this whole piece at about 2 in the morning. Um, I really, really like to paint late at night, which is complicated because unless I use some pretty big lights, uh, it's very hard to film when I'm painting that late at night. But in this case, I did have some big lights. Now, again, if you want to know about my lighting or my setup, that's all on Patreon on another post. And if you want to know more, let me know, and I can even do uh, some kind of video for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to know more about that. Um, again, I'm going back and I'm reapplying paint to the top of the stem. And now I'm picking up some Davies Gray. Now, if you're familiar with Davies Gray, Davies Gray is one of my favorite colors. It's a beautiful, soft, gray and it, it's it's not like watering a color down where you water a color down using water and you get a lighter tone when you add Davies gray you you don't get that watered effect so you still have the color it's just the gray tone of the color does that make sense because obviously when you use water you get a lighter version and then it's not thick there's there's no substance to the color so i'm cautious about how much water i'm going to use because in this particular moment i want the stem to have a little volume i want it to feel real and have um, tone right so the darks and the lights and using davies gray is a great way to add in those grays and give that feeling that the whole thing has color to it it has a gray tone without just you know, adding blue or adding uh, blue and brown um, or adding lots of water to tone this color down. Now, I haven't seen the painting in a little while, so I'm not sure how much detail I do up here, but I think I do the whole thing. I don't remember. I'll have to wait and see. <laughs> anyway, to wrap it up, I hope that you are enjoying this piece and I also hope that you're having a lovely, lovely summer. It's been beautiful. The weather has been amazing. The hot wave, hot heat, the heat wave was just gorgeous. Um, and I hope that you guys are all very happy about the weather and enjoying it and you're able to paint and, and have, uh, have a lot of fun doing it. I'm Scarlett. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodaloo!